Woven from Manila, sisal or flax fibers, traditional ropes are a binding element in our world. The process starts with racks of natural fiber yarns. The yarns are funneled through separators, which configure them to twist evenly together. The fibers then travel through tubes that squeeze them into bundles. Workers tie the ends of the bundles onto a wheeled vehicle called the forming machine. They roll the machine back until there's no slack in the bundles. The machine is then sent to the opposite end of the factory, over 1,000 feet away. As the machine travels backwards, its gears turn hooks, twisting the yarns into a tight configuration. The formation of the twists ensure an even distribution of tension. This is what makes rope so strong. This long indoor space is called a rope walk. There aren't many of them left in the world. When the machine reaches the back wall, it stops and workers cut both ends of the strands. They tie them to posts to maintain tension and prevent unraveling. On one side, they tie three of the strands to a machine that will transform them into a rope. Halfway down, they bring in a cart that holds a piece of grooved wood known as a top. They tuck the twisted strands into the grooves of the top. They then roll the cart down to face the rope making machine. A worker ties rope around the strands in the top. This holds them in place as the rope making machine twists the three strands into one. The rope machine with twisting hooks remains in the same place. When the cart arrives at the opposite side of the building, the rope is formed. A worker removes the ties around the top. They now have a piece of rope that's over 700 feet long and almost five inches in diameter.